Hey there dreamers, my name is Max and welcome back to Team Lucid Dream. All in our notes eventually learn that becoming lucid is just the first hurdle. Once in a lucid dream, you need to make the effort to maintain the dream integrity by stabilizing it or end up waking up in frustration. Most beginners will wake up immediately after the shock of realizing that they are in a dream for the first time. This is perfectly normal and after that initial shock, there are only three issues that you must learn to overcome in order to enjoy longer and more fulfilling dreams. The first is low stability. Dreams vary in how stable they are and usually the less stable they are the closer you are to waking up. The second issue is being near the natural end of a REM cycle. If you're naturally on the verge of waking up, stabilisation techniques are vital in order to buy you a little extra time in the dream world. However, you can't dream indefinitely, and at some point you will have to wake up. But as more advanced aeronauts will tell you, with correct use of techniques and experience, you'll be enjoying lucid dreams that last long enough you'll be choosing to wake up before you risk not being able to recall your lucid dreaming adventures. The third issue is overexcitement, which we will come back to after the techniques. First, let's go through four basic stabilization techniques, which should hopefully prevent a premature awakening. Number one, concentrate on the ground. This might seem quite strange, but think about it for a minute. There always tends to be ground beneath your feet, unless of course you are flying or falling. The reasoning is that the ground tends to be a stable part of the dream, and it actually works quite well. Number two, rub your hands together. Equally as strange but more intuitive is rubbing one's hands together. This action forces the mind to focus on the tactile sensation that is caused by your hands rubbing against each other. This also helps to prevent you from being distracted by the outside world if you are starting to wake up. Number three, concentrate on your senses. By focusing on the dream world around you, you are less likely to transition back to the waking world. And number four is dream spinning. This is actually a pretty famous technique amongst dreamers, and for a good reason too. Discovered by Dr. Stephen LeBurge, dream spinning is not only a good way of stabilizing the dream, but also prolonging them. And it's as easy as it sounds. Simply spin around as soon as you feel the dream starting to fade. And as you spin, imagine the same scene or a different one. When you stop spinning and perform a reality check, you will find that you are still in the dream. Armed with these four simple techniques, you should now be able to stabilize and extend your lucid dreams with ease. That is, of course, as long as you take care of the final stumbling block, over excitement. As mentioned before, being too excited or too emotional in a dream is a surefire way to lose your lucidity. Whenever you feel yourself heading in this direction, take a second to calm yourself and try one of the stabilization techniques as mentioned before. And that's really all there is to it, folks. These techniques can be used alone or in combination. There's no need to overcomplicate things. Just remember to stabilize often and you'll be having long lucid dreaming adventures before you know it. Experiment and see which ones work for you. So that is it for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if you have any questions for us, or for Geo in particular, then leave them in the comments section below. If there is anything you feel we have missed from this video, or any stabilization techniques that you would like to add, then once again you know where to leave them. Thank you very much for watching guys, I have been Max, aka the Rara Rabbit. I'll see you in the next video.